Several big changes may be in store for Stone Mountain Park, including acknowledging ties to the Klan and consolidating Confederate memorials. Jennifer Bellamy has a look at the proposals and when we could see a decision, Jennifer. Yes, Cheryl, the Stone Mountain Memorial Association met for the first time today under its new leader, Pastor Abraham Mosley. His appointment by Governor Kent makes him the first black person to hold that post. Now, during the meeting, the park CEO outlined ways to move Stone Mountain Park forward. So here's some of what's on the table, finding ways to tell the truth about the park and some of its more controversial aspects. That means acknowledging its history with the Klan and the Confederacy. It could also mean bringing the light to the park's history as a Native American burial ground. The Confederate flags that currently stand near the bottom of the walk up trail could be moved. Confederate Hall, which houses the operations of the park, could be renamed Heritage Hall. And we could also see Confederate artifacts and monuments moving to a single area of the park. The public did have a chance to weigh in. Some thought the proposals went too far, others not far enough. Now, any changes would need approval from the park's board. A vote is expected next month. And Cheryl, we also learned today that Marriott, which operates the park's main hotel, has decided not to renew its contract next year. So that will be another financial blow as the pandemic and the controversies about Confederate ties have already hurt the park's bottom line. All right, either way, change is ahead. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much. We'll keep updating the future of Stone Mountain Park. I know you've got a lot more on 11alive.com as well. Thank you.